Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Richard today, and today we're going to be swapping out the lens on this iPhone. As you can see, I managed to crack it. Now you can get a kit for repairing it, super cheap off of Amazon. It was so cheap, I ended up getting a two-pack because it was like $15 for a two-pack. They even give you the uh, waterproofing glue, they give you uh, a wet dry. If not, you just need isopropanol and you can clean it. They give you a knife for cleaning stuff up, and they also give you a pair of tweezers. It's pretty handy, and for the money, it's not too bad. I get that it's a really cheap kit, but I've seen much cheaper things get charged a lot more money. Anyways, let's go ahead and so I can stop butchering sayings. And first thing you want to do, a little bit of heat. And then you just start going like this. As you can see, mine was so damaged. I've literally been just pulling it out piece by piece, moving this around, heating up the adhesive. But whatever you do, like I said, just be very careful if you can wear eye protection, because if a piece of the glass shatters, you don't want to have it end up in your eye. I'm gonna heat this up a little more. We've almost got the lens exposed now, so that way we can actually pop it out. With this now, all you're doing is you're taking your little X-Acto and just coming around here and cleaning up all of the adhesive. You want to get this all out. As you can see, there's quite a bit in here. You might have to reheat it up, but I'll show you what you do afterwards. Next, you can either use this little packet right off the bat, but if you have some isopropanol alcohol, throw it on a microfiber and you can also clean it. But make sure that you pour it out just in case there's any glass in there so you don't put any glass in your fingers. Let's use the wet wipe. We'll leave the dry wipe to last, obviously. But all we do from here is we go around I just want to go around the edge, clean up her lens. See her lens is actually in pretty good shape. Perfect. The more time you spend cleaning this, the better. One, for making sure that you get a good bond for the lens, but two, making sure your lens is clean. Because if your lens is not clean, and you don't have a good bonding surface, well, the lens is going to come off and you don't want to put your new lens on and not to have a good photo because of the fact that you didn't uh, clean up and make it look shiny on the inside of the lens either. Because even a hair or a dirt particle will show up and cause focusing issues. Look at that. See how much better that looks? Again, I'll probably go around it one more time. Different part of the cloth and get it as sparkly and cleaned up as possible with no glue residue whatsoever so we have a good surface. This lens, which has the smallest iris, that goes here. That's your little micro camera. Then you've got this one. This is for your wide angle lens. You'll notice it's a little bit thicker. And then there's this one, which is gonna go in here. It's your medium lens. How you know, anyways, you can actually just shine a flashlight on here and you can see the size and make sure that they're all three different sizes. All right, so you can choose what you wanna do first. What you're supposed to do, try to not touch the uh, inside of this. 
but you have to try and peel up that adhesive ring using this. It's fun. See, I'm already didn't touch the inside just because if you're gonna touch the inside, make sure it's of the black area. But what you have to do is lift this off like that. Oh, there we go. Now, to waterproof it, you need to be very careful. You don't want to damage your lens. We have to poke this. Other side of the cap is a pokey. Just pop it through. Do this. What I suggest you do is do a test strip. Just do this. Just so you can get used to how much comes out. Just like that. Because what you want to do is just go along the edge here and do a small bead. And you have to know the pressure. Okay, take the lens immediately and drop it on there and sink it in. Try to avoid touching the edge. Just like that. What we can do too is clean it up with a little bit of goo gone after. Again, isopropanol alcohol and you can clean up that lens. If you get anything on it immediately, don't worry that glue doesn't dry super, super quick. So you should be able to do that and just make sure before it fully sets that you have a nice shiny lens like that. You can also just press on it. Don't press too hard, otherwise you're doing it again. But just make sure your surface is clean. And look at that, you replaced the lens. You're a pro. Thanks again for watching.